Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Braswell's Cooking Corner. Uh, tonight, I'm actually going to be doing some baking, which is not my strong suit. So with me, I have Carolyn Englar of my uh, acapella group in college. Say hello, Carolyn. Hi. And um, she's going to help me with this because, to be honest, the whole oven thing, not for me. So uh, what are we making? We're making some lemon bars, which is great for summer. It's light, it's kind of tangy, sweet okay. and sour for dessert, and they're really, really easy. Great. So first we're going to make the crust, and we'll then bake it for 20 minutes and get, get in on the filling. So we have two cups all-purpose flour. Two cups of flour, all right. Put in there. Sweet. And we'll get the rest of it. Okay. And then we're going to use confectioner sugar in okay. the crust part, and it'll okay. also be sprinkled on the top. Confectioner sugar is powdered sugar, that much I know. Yes. Right. You want to do the pinch of salt? Pinch of salt, yes. It's really up to your discretion. Okay, it's not on pepper. You can use it. Yes. And that's what it comes to. So we're stirring. And then we're cutting in the butter. So what we did is cut two sticks of butter okay. into little pieces, roughly okay. a quarter inch or so. And I think cutting butter by doing it in smaller pieces, it helps it so it doesn't all clump together in one area. Um, and uh, you can kind of decide how mixed in to do it, right. so it's, um, you're going to end up with little bits of butter still in the, the, the pastry shell. Yes. Some types of dough, um, like a bread dough, you want everything mixed 100% um, till it's a gooey texture, but with this you kind of want uh, more flake, um, if you will, and, and by cutting in the butter you're going to be able to help do that. Exactly. All and right. you usually want the butter cooled but still at room temperature so it's soft enough to cut up. Alright, I'm just going to give you some chunks then. Break up with my hands. Yeah, just use your hands. Get in get there. Dirty. Get dirty. <laughs> exactly. We think alike. Of course, we were uh, in an acapella group together. For we were many really years. cool. And very cool. Very cool. <laughs> acapella losers, but uh, acapella winners in, in our work. Um, and I don't think we actually ever cooked together in college, so this, no, is, uh, it's this first. is fun. Good times. Yeah. We cut the butter in, that's two tablespoons of butter, and now we're going to dump the mixture into the pan and then just sort of pat it down. It's a pretty shallow crust, um, it's just at the bottom of the bar. So we sort of mix it all around. All right. And then you can see it mushes really well. Yeah. Just flatten it. You want to get all the corners. I guess try to make it as even as possible, which can be a bit difficult. Yeah. It's kind of like Play-Doh-ish <laughs> feeling. Yeah, really. it's drier. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's less, a little flaky. Less um, elastic. Precisely. But, uh, oh, no. That will hopefully give it that flaky texture we're looking yeah. for. A lot of butter in it, which really kind of just makes it. So you really just want to make sure you get all corners. You don't see the bottom of the pan anywhere. Okay. And then we were baking it at 350 degrees for, I think, approximately 20 minutes. All right, well, we've preheated the oven, so let's go put that in. Do you have to cover it or anything? No, nope, I believe you just leave as is for 20 minutes or until it gets a little golden. All right, great. Yep. So, let's put this in. Top rack? Yeah. And... Okay, so we've put the crust into the oven at 350. It needs about 20 minutes. Uh, so next, we got to make the filling that goes onto the crust after it comes out of the oven. Um, what do we have in it? So just four very simple ingredients. We're using four eggs, two cups of sugar, six tablespoons of flour, and about six tablespoons of lemon juice. All right. So we normally want to put the dry ingredients in first. Okay. So we'll do two cups of sugar. All right. Look at that. Then we'll put the flour in. It's only six tablespoons. It's not that much. Nope, that's the kind of ratio I like the yeah. sugar and flour. Way more in. flour in the actual crust, okay? Mm -hmm. and then we're going to put the four eggs in. You'll probably mix the dry ingredients a bit and then put four eggs. Mm, gloppy. Nice. Yes. Yeah. And I would mix that all together before adding in the lemon juice at the end so you get a good consistency going. Okay. And then, last but not least, you can put in the lemon juice, which give or take, if you like a little more lemony, a little less lemony, mm -hmm. but we'll do... Alright, we'll just spoon in yeah. six of these bad boys right here. <laughs> just put however much you want, really. Alright. And, then, and uh, then just stir it all together. Alright. So you want to mix it all together so it's a good consistency, make sure it's really well blended, kind of all uniform. 
And then once we get the crust out of the oven and it's all cooled, we'll pour the batter on top and then stick it back in the oven for about 20 minutes. Here we go, fresh out of the oven. Um, this is our pie crust, it's been in there for 20 minutes at 350. Okay, and then we stir the filling. As you can see, the crust is only on the bottom part. It's mm -hmm. not like it's all around the thing. So we're just going to pour it on top. Mm -hmm. Get even distribution. Mm -hmm. It's important. It smells like Christmas. Hey, hey that smells great. Mm -hmm. Kind of like sugar cookies and... Citrus. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. Just trying to get every last drop. And... Then they go back in the oven for about 25 minutes. Back in the oven. All right. 25 minutes. Here we go. So we have our lemon squares. They're out of the oven. We've cut a few of them. Uh, they cooled for a bit. Cut a few of them, put them on a plate, and it's now for the, it's time for the final step. Um, so what are we going to be doing here? It looks like we have some powdered sugar uh, and some lemon zest. That is correct. We're going to sift it over the, um, the lemon bars. You can okay. use either a regular sifter or if you want to be a little creative like we are here today, you're going to use a strainer <laughs> and just sort of tap it. So Yeah. Like, maybe yeah. Do it. yeah. Okay. This, is, this is one of those final touches, yeah. you know, making it look nice things. That... It looks nice and it tastes good. Like the sugar kind of accents the tartness. You can do as much or as little mm. as you'd like. That looks that great. Okay. Yeah. Sprinkling. Yeah. Do you want to the zest? And then, okay, so zest. Um, I guess just put like a little on each. Yeah. This gives it a, a little, a slight yellow accent at the end. Um, and good flavor. And good flavor. That's true. That's true. Yeah. All right. Well, these look good enough to eat. Um, shall we? We might just do. Ooh. Here, why don't we take a little take bit of that one? Mm, gooey bon on the inside, yeah. Uh-huh. Bon appetit. Mm. Delicious. They're very tasty. I think it's good. That's good. Really good for summer. Mm. Light. Yeah. But scrumptious. Well, thank you for uh, for watching, and we'll uh, see you around Brazil's Cooking Corner. Bye. I'm a fan of these, huh? Mm-hmm.